This video we're going to look at finding the gradient of the normal and then going on to find the equation of normals. Uh, if you remember in the last video we looked at finding the gradient of a tangent. So a tangent is a line which just here you can see we've got a curve and the tangent is a line which just touches the curve and no more. Now the normal is very like the tangent uh, except it is perpendicular to it. So it will have a perpendicular gradient. So remember it says here that if a tangent has a gradient and the normal is perpendicular, then per the product of the, tan the gradients will always be minus one. Uh, better way of saying it is if the gradient of the tangent is m, then the gradient of the normal is minus one over m or the negative reciprocal. So here we'll just say, uh, e.g., if gradient of tangent, we'll just say, and we'll just say equals six, that means therefore the gradient of the normal is a negative reciprocal. So to do the negative reciprocal, you could just turn the thing upside down and change the sign. So it becomes minus one sixth. Okay, so, or put one over it uh, and then change the sign. I'll do another one. If the gradient of the tangent is equal to, we'll go for minus, uh, minus two thirds this time. Therefore, the gradient of the normal is a negative reciprocal of that. So the negative reciprocal, it was minus. So we just change the sign of that, it will become positive and then turn it upside down. It's three over two, which is the same, of course, as one and a half. And that's it. Okay, we're gonna look at an example here of how we uh, put this in the action to find the gradient of normals. Okay, so in this one it says y is equal to 2x squared plus 4, at, and you want to find the gradient of the normal at x equals 1. First thing, if you see gradient, you see tangent, you see normal, you see any of those words, you want to be thinking, you want to do dy by dx. Remember, dy by dx is your gradient function. So differentiate your y. In this case, you're going to get 4x. Uh, that's if you differentiate the 2x squared. Differentiate the 4, you'll just get 0. Uh, so it's just dy by dx equals 4x. So that's your gradient function. And then a wee word makes all the difference. Just say when x equals 1, dy by dx is equal to uh, just 4 times, oh, sorry, 4 times 1, which is equal to 4. Okay, the next bit, uh, we'll just say, therefore, the gradient of your normal. Remember, this 4 is the gradient of the tangent. So your gradient of your normal just negative reciprocal that or turn it upside down, change the sign, that's minus one over four. Same idea in this next example. Uh, but first thing I'm gonna do here is get your y in index form. So that's gonna be three upon x to the minus two. And we want to differentiate. So remember to differentiate, you multiply by the power. So minus two times three becomes minus six and reduce your power by one. And this is where people make the mistakes for these negative ones. So minus two minus another one is minus three. Okay, for me, that is a little bit awkward to work with. I'm gonna rewrite that as just gonna say dy by dx is equal to minus six over x cubed. Uh, and here then, what we're going to do is just say when, and I'll just go across here to say when x equals minus two, your dy by dx is just gonna be equal to minus six over minus two cubed which is gonna be minus six over minus two cubed means minus two times minus two times minus two, which is gonna be minus eight. And that would cancel down top and bottom, divide by two, and the minuses disappear. You're gonna have, just gonna have whoop, three over four. Okay, so that's the gradient of my tangent, remember? We'll just say it there for gradient of, that's a gradient, believe it or not, gradient of your normal is just gonna be equal to one over minus one over three over four, which is the same as just minus four over three. So just turn this fraction upside down and change its sign. Okay, probably would be too happy leaving it as minus four over three, top every fraction, just change it to a mixed number, minus one and one third. Okay, and this example says the equation of the normal, uh, the equation of the normal is found in the same way as the equation of the tangent. The only additional step is to calculate the gradient of the normal by finding the negative reciprocal of the tangent gradient. Okay, let's remember uh, a normal or a tangent, they're a straight line, so they're gonna be in the form y equals mx plus c, so it's a straight line for your normal eventually. 
okay, your curve was y, your original curve was, so I got rid of that, it was y is equal to 3x squared plus x minus 4. And we want to differentiate it first of all. If you differentiate that, you're going to get 6x plus 1. And then we'll say when x equals 1, dy by dx is equal to 6 upon 1 plus 1. Uh, which is going to be equal to 6 times 1 is 6 plus 1 is going to be 7. So remember that is the gradient of my tangent. Just say therefore gradient of the normal is equal to minus 1 over 7. Uh, okay, the next thing we want to do then is we'll just say we need to find a y value. So we've got the x value, but we need to find a y value. So we'll just say when x equals 1, y equals, so we're putting it back into this original equation for your y. So y is going to be equal to 3 upon 1 squared plus 1 minus 4. So y is equal to 3 plus 1 is 4 minus another 4 is 0. So you've got the point, your normal goes through the point 1, 0. Okay, so we're going to look at our normal. It's y is equal to, remember we said y equals mx plus c. So my m, the gradient we now know is minus 1 over 7 times x plus c. And then we're going to sub in the point, uh, sub in, that says sub in the point 1, 0. So my y value is 0 when my x value is 1. Minus 1 seventh times 1. I'll show all my steps here, plus c. I'm going to leave box up there. Uh, so... Uh, what have I got? I've got 0 is equal to minus 1 seventh plus c. So 1 over 7 is equal to c. Therefore, my normal, I found my m value. My normal n is going to be equal to y equals minus 1 over 7 x plus 1 over 7. And I'll put that in a wee box just to make it really clear. That's my answer. Okay, last example for us here. It says find the equation of the normal to the curve. Y is equal to 5x minus x squared plus 4 at the point 1, 8. And state the point where the normal intersects the line y minus x plus 9 equals 0. Okay, forget about the last sentence there in that question. Just do the first bit uh, as we would have done the last example. So write down the equation of our curve. Y is equal to 5x minus x squared plus 4. We're going to differentiate it. Differentiate that, you're going to get 5 minus 2x. And then we want to sub in the point. So just say at, or when, I think I said in the last one, at x equals 1. Your dy by dx is equal to 5 minus 2 times 1, which is 5 minus 2, which is 3. So that's the gradient of your tangent, remember. Therefore, your gradient of your normal is equal to minus 1 third. Okay, so your equation of your normal, your normal equation so far then is just y is equal to, it's a straight line, y equals mx plus c, remember, so minus 1 over 3x plus c. And then we can go ahead and, go ahead and substitute in our point. So our point is 1, 8. So sub in 1, 8. So that means y is equal to 8. My x value is 1, so minus uh, a third times 1 plus c. So that means bring that, multiply that out, that's going to be minus a third. Sorry, I'm talking about this, but minus a third times one is minus a third. It comes across and adds in, you're going to get eight and one third is equal to c. Okay, uh, what have we got then? So your normal is y is equal to minus one third x plus eight and one third. That's what we've got so far. Okay, we're going to look at this line up here, and we're going to rearrange uh, uh, rearrange it a wee bit to make it a wee bit easier to make y the subject. So we'll just say the line is, sorry, that's not very clear, there's wee dots above the eyes. The line is y is equal to, if you bring the x minus x and then plus 9 across, you'll have x minus 9. And just put the line equal to the normal.
Okay, so a wee word every now and again really makes the explanation of your work so much better. So just put those two things equal. So I'm putting this value, this uh, expression for y, I suppose, uh, here equal to this one. So minus one third x plus eight and one third is going to be put equal to x minus nine, and we'll see what happens with this. So uh, we'll just do that, and we've got uh, minus one third times x plus eight and one third. Oh, sorry. Eight and one third is equal to x minus nine, and then it's just a wee bit of rearranging from here. So I'm going to move my x's all to the right hand side, be a wee bit nicer, and move my everything else over to the other side. So I'll have 8 and 1 third plus 9 on my left hand side. My right hand side I'll have x plus 1 third x. So that's going to be 17 and a third is equal to 1 and 1 third. It's a calculator exam, so I would just do that. I would just do 17 and 1 third divided by one and one third to give you your x and when i did that on my calculator i got 13. okay read the question uh, have we answered it it says state the point where the normal intersects the line so we've got x equals 13 you've got to find the corresponding y value so there's two ways we could do this you could put your x equals 13 into your normal equation should be all right, I suppose. You do it in your calculator. Minus a third times the 13 plus 8 and 1 third. But this is definitely an easier line to use. So let's just use this one. Y is equal to X minus 9. So we'll just say sub. Uh, so subject X equals uh, 13 into Y is equal to X minus 9. So that's Y is equal to 13 minus 9. 13 minus 9 is 4. So your answer, they wanted the point. And the point was x was equal to 13, remember, and y was equal to 4. Okay, that's those notes done. You're now ready to do exercise 7e.